Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Dark Radar here. Today we'll be going over an e-bike, the Iyahara X7. In this video, we're going to start off with uh, simple maintenance, changing flat tires, inner tubes, as well as the application of flat out. After that, we'll take her out on a test run and go over some specs. Performance as well as functionality. For this project, you're going to need your inner tube, tire levers, set of ankle wrenches. These are going to be take off the brakes, and a Mine is 18 millimeter, but you're gonna need something, some type of wrench. Most of the time it's between 14, 15, 16. Tire. Make sure you got the tire. And last but not least, flat out. Let's begin. First, what you want to do is make sure that the bike chain is on the last gear. Make sure you unplug the power cord. Three sixteenths Allen wrench. This one right here, we gotta take off the disc brakes. All right. Make sure we don't lose that. So right. take that out. I move the caliper out of the way so that we can get to the lug nut. Now mine uses an 18. That one to the other side. Now, boom. Right off, I want to get you a nice pry tool, one that's uh, preferably plastic and not too sharp, so that you get it off. I'm going to take this off, so I want to flip that up like that. All right, let's go. Right. Set up, and then let's go. All the way across. Yeah. All right. Yep. Want to make sure that comes out with it first. All right. So boom. Sure you take off your valve stem thing you got that off like that. And then just that. And bam! Perfect! Oh. I should put some tape here. Let's get some more tape. Made in France. This is the, the motor, the hub. Where the motor is. I went over a piece of metal. Look at 
bands. Now we've got, make sure you've got your tubes. Make sure inspect it, make sure everything is good. Looks good to me. All right. That's so what you want to want to do is fill it up just a little bit, not all the way. Here's the new tire. Make sure it's a 20 by 40. Mongoose fat tire. Max inflate to 20 pounds per second. I'm going to take this and we're going to put it in the tire. There we go. Look at that. See? She's in there. Perfect. Oops. Time to add the air. 20 PSIs. Remember, 20 PSI, final custom. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out so far. This is good so far. Going. All right, let's take a look. So now you want to make sure you put on the washers and screws. So you want to put this one on first. Make sure it lines up there. Do the same with the other side. Do the same with the other side. The power cable is on the right side. Make sure. Oops. Make sure that this. Ah, there we go. There we go. Alright, looking good so far. Now we're gonna put this washer on first. There we go. I'm gonna put this bracket on. 
the railer, the pole, and then the nut. That one, two. Don't tighten it just yet. I'm gonna go on to this side. I'm do the same thing. So for this tire, really simple. What you gotta do for my bike is pull this up, screw it a little bit, screw right here. This. You wanna loosen this a little bit as well. Push it right out. Look at that. That's simple. I'm going to use flat out cap. Levers and uh, take the tire off. Okay. We're going to take the valve stem, we're going to push it. Time to take the tire off. One there, another one here. Make sure there are no spokes poking out of the, from the tape. All right, she's looking good there. Air, 
air into it. Make sure a valve stem is through the hole of the rim. Line properly. Let's see. All right. Like that. Boom. That should go in. Make sure it's aligned with the brake calipers. That goes in. And, and then you want to. Tighten this. You can tighten both by hand. You just tighten that like that, and then in turn. Yep. So while I'm doing that, I'm also tightening this as well. air out so that we can apply the black out. All right, so again with the flat out, what's cool about it is the cap, very top, this part right here, you just pull like this and this comes out like that, right? That's the tube. But if you take this off, it just screws off like that. This part is what you put on the valve core and then just twist it. Be very careful because this is plastic. Valve core is metal. So metal beats plastic. Now, as I mentioned, you pull this up, you take this part off. You take this hose and you fit it on the valve stem nice and secure you take the bottle and then you just simply squeeze and you squeeze it out up into the uh into the stem So the tire is good. Spin it around. Alright, 
also attach the stem to the pulley. Okay. Now the way that the flat out works is um, it's basically a one-time additive that prevents flats and seals uh, leaks for the life of the tire. Seals punctures twice the size of the other guys up to half inch in the thread. When they say the other guys, I think they're probably talking about the, the slime, which I've tried the dream slime before. And uh, they say that this is better. Now time to apply some ceramic bike chain lube. Maximum durability. You're gonna take a little bit and you're gonna put it here. You don't wanna put it on top here because then it'll just run down. So you wanna put it here. And running through okay real quick all right here we go seven one this is the 20 um, bring it to seven two bring it to seven three Bring it to 73. Woo. Okay, so we replaced the fat tire and inner tube, as well as applying the finish line bike chain lube, and of course the flat out for extra preventative measures. Now let's take her for a spin and make sure all the bells and whistles are in order. So, so far so good. We're on the road, we're at about 25 miles an hour right now. These are my agents right here. This is Agent Nala, AKA Connie Wolves. 
and in the front we've got Raven, aka Agent Tongs. Grisham Hot Tongs. That's right, she got excited when I said that. Look at them. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh my god, no. Whoa. That's it. That's enough. You done? You good? Are you finished? Are you done? Let's go. Good girls. No more. It's good girls. Relax. As you can see, the 500 watt Eohara X7 e bike performs pretty well on the grassy field. Keep in mind, this is the first generation model that came out in 2019. The Hara has since come out with a second generation model which features a 750 watt motor as well as a larger battery and pre-installed fenders. I recommend getting an aftermarket bike seat, and that's for any bike. Link in the description. So we got my nice little headlight here. You're gonna need this flash guards trust me especially for the front tire as well for the back tire you don't want none of them but what happened e-pass technology this is the hub motor i'll get back to that in a second put on a different seat because the seat that came with it was just too small for me. It's my grenade. Rock shocks. Goes up to three speeds as far as uh, power goes. So you got that's one, which takes you to about 70 miles an hour. Speed two will take you to about 25 miles an hour. Speed three will take you anywhere between 30 to 35 miles an hour, depending on, you know, the angle and whatnot. Got the Shimano seven speed, seven gears. I installed the side view mirrors. And it's a foldable bike, which is really cool. Let me show you real quick. All right, so, fold it. Very simple. Fold it from the top.
coat. You can see right here by the handlebars, the little thing. Push that over, that looks down like that. And then right here is the hinge. You just simply down just like so. See? Then I'm gonna take this latch right here. We lift that up, boom. And oh. now, look at that. Let me close the wall. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it looks. That's how it looks when it is folded. And what's cool is that I can take the battery out. To charge it, battery by itself, or I could charge it with the uh, with the battery intact in the, in the bike. So it's got the removable battery. Fold it up. Whoops, now my light is on. Let's turn that light off. Make sure I got the Haro. Being able to heavy fold seat. the bike is ideal for transporting the bike via a vehicle. Like, but the bike is hefty, coming in at 70 pounds. So as you can see, the bike is holding up pretty well off-road, which means all the bells and whistles are intact. All right, let's get one last closer look at the bike while I go over the specs, the performance, and give a little review on what I think about it. She loves us. I don't think she would eat us if she was like starving. Okay. It's good girl. It's good tails. She still didn't need it, y'all. Discipline. She knows that she's gonna get it anyway. So she's not gonna mess that up. Okay, it's good girls. See? The Ihara X7 features a one-piece foldable aluminum alloy frame, mechanical lockout front suspension with spring rear shock absorber and four inch fat tires. The Ihara X7 can take you anywhere regardless if it's wet stone, muddy paths, sand, beach, or snowy hills. It is more comfortable with outstanding shock absorption, anti-puncture performance, and stronger wear resistance. The electrical system is optimized, fitted with a 48 volt, 10.4 ampere hour Samsung battery, which is concealed, making the X7 more waterproof. The 
custom 500 watt rear drive motor allows the Ihora X7 to reach speeds of more than 30 miles an hour and travel up to 55 miles per hour per charge with the assisted pedal. The E-Pass Regenerate system turns the motor into a generator which can charge 20 to 60% of power back to the battery when you are enjoying downhill gliding or the speed is over 14 miles an hour at pedal assist one. This is vital as it effectively extends the life of the motor and battery and allows your bike to have a longer mileage, 60 to 80 miles perhaps. If you are in setting one and if you are pedaling and going over 14 miles an hour, the battery will start to recharge itself. As for the shifter and brakes, the Ohara X7 comes equipped with the Shimano SL-TX50 7 speed gears and RD-TY300 derailers which provide accurate and smooth shifting and ensures that your drivetrain is responsive for a long time. With Tektro mechanical disc brakes front and rear, the X7 possesses strong and responsive braking. ADC Intelligent IP65 waterproof password protected LCD display screen shows you more what you want to see. And last but not least, the Iohara X7 first generation e-bike comes with a twister. Alright, so overall, I would rate this bike an 8.5 out of 10. Um, the reason being is, alright, well let's go over the pros first and then we'll go over the cons. Pros would be uh, the design of the bike. Pretty sturdy bike. I like how it has the, uh, the shots front and rear shocks. It can go up to 35 miles an hour, but I would say 30 to about 32 miles an hour would be like an average top speed for it. That's, uh, that's assuming that it's on, you know, straight away. Also price, price. Um, when I got this back in 2019, it was that for 1200. Um, I got it off Amazon originally, um, but you can't find it on Amazon anymore. So by cons would be, it's very heavy. That's one thing. It is very heavy. I, would, I wish it was a little bit lighter. I mean, it's 70 pounds. It's a little bit heavy. I think an ideal weight for this would have been maybe perhaps around 40 pounds. Um, I get it. It's, it's, I mean, this is like here. I've wiped out three times already. Um, another con I would say would be uh, it doesn't come with a, a rear light. It just comes with a reflect, uh, reflector. So I had to buy my own rear light uh, to put on it. As well as when you lock up, when you fold the bike up, it doesn't have like a little latch mechanism to kind of keep it locked when it's folded. So even though it's cool that you know you can fold it and you can transport it, it, it does become a little uh, wobbly. Like it, it tends to try to kind of like flip back open. Battery charge, of course. You know we always said battery charge could last a little bit longer, but I think it's, it's cool that we do have the um, E-Pass technology, which, as I mentioned, um, basically kind of will recharge the battery up to a certain percentage. Um, while riding it, yeah, the seat I had to replace because the seat was um, not comfortable. But that's that's typically going to be the case with um, with any bike. Would I recommend it to a loved one? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Thanks for joining me in this in-depth tutorial slash review maintenance video on the Eohara X7 first generation electrical bike. Hey, tell these guys, say hey. So please like, subscribe, and comment, share the video. Subscribe to the channel, that'll help a lot. All right, guys? Stay tuned. Till next time, Start right off. Peace. These bikes are a lot of fun. I enjoy this. You save on gas. Lots of gas. You know, if you work, uh, if you work within a certain mile radius, the answer right here. Trust me.